Hello guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel and in this video, we're talking about ways we can concatenate strings together in Solidity. So stick around to know how to do that uh, in case you want to return some customized kind of errors on your Solidity code and I'll show you how to do that in this video. So let's get into it. So we have our Remix ID open here. What we have to do is go into contract, create a new file. We can name this string uh, test. We need to uh, specify the Solidity version. So the Pragma, yeah, Pragma Solidity, then uh, we'll do 0 0.8.9 is okay. Now we can do a contract, we'll give it a name, concatenate, this works. And um, so let me just uh, collapse this. I'll install some Open Zeppelin package. Open Zeppelin is basically a library that writes a um, secured smart contract. So we can import their libraries and their smart contracts using our own. So I can do import uh, open Zeppelin slash contracts uh, slash I think utils and, and then there is a string that's so. So this is to convert addresses and um, uint to strings. I will need this uh, uint. You can say using string for you ends this for so we're using string for you in this test the compiler to make use of the string right library for all you int data type so we can come all the way down here and we can say uh, let's call this you uh, int first then you int second off and then we'll say uh, we're creating two private variables which will hold our first number and our second number now we can call, create a function here that says um, guess so the user is to guess the sum of this so you can say guess sum and we're expecting a number from the user we can call this results or we can call this sum we'll make this public uh, sorry we'll make this public and it returns if this is correct or not, so a boolean. So we say bool. So right here we have to write our code. So we want the result you uh, int memory result should equal first plus second. Now I want to compare this result against the user's input. So we can say if sum is equal to results so if the user is correct basically we want to return true which means you you're correct but if the user is not correct we want to tell the user he's not correct by reverting the code with a customized error message so something like um error sum of 10 10 and 12 is not equal to so, so basically 10 will be first and let's do this let's see so basically 10 will be the first and 12 will be the second which is second so this is the kind of error message you want to return to the user tell the user you the the sum you input is not equal to what we have in our database so what we can do here we can say um revert now I want to revert with a specific error, which is the concatenated values. So we'll come over here, we'll create the error message. So we we'll say uh, string error message equal. Now we we'll give this an error message. The error message will be the concatenated values. So we can concatenate strings using the abi.encode pact. This is automatically injected inside your solidity. So we can do abi.encode ABI pact. So what this does, it takes multiple strings and concatenate them together and return a byte. So if we do this, the first value we want, to, okay, we can specify it here. We can say sum of uh, comma, then the first comma and comma second comma is not equal or does. Let's just does here does not equal comma 
what does this not equal? Uh, it doesn't equal the sum they input to us. So we can say sum. So we've concatenated these whole values and we've started in error message. But not found. Okay, I can't find this. Uh, okay, open, circle in, contracts. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Penances. NPM. Open Zeppelin. Contract. Your tails. Strings. Dot. So it's definitely here. So we have this here. Strings or so. Strings. Oh, great. So this is strings. Strings or so. So we're using strings for. Now, if we should check our code, we have this error first. This is um, can't what is the error here? Oh, we don't need to specify the um, this, so we can get rid of this. And uh, we have an error message because this returns a byte, and we are assigning it to a string. So we need to typecast this to a string. So okay, string. Uh, here this. Now we have a new error message. Okay, yeah, we have to give this a data type of memory. And now we have this bunch of error message. That's because we need to return error message here. That is the first step. And the next step we need to do is it it uh what it does is it concatenates strings. So we can't add a a um your int data type here. So we can say dot to string. This converts it to string. We can say here the same dot to string. And here we can do the same dot to string. So let's see what is the message here. Uh, we can give this a view function. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So now we do this. Why we have access to this is because we are using strings here for this. If we should remove this right here, we'll get errors at this line. But using this, we are telling Solidity to use all the functions in the string and give it to the data type you int. So if we do this and we try um, deploying, say concatenate, deploy, concatenate, get sum. Uh, definitely, we know the sum is 22, but let's put in um, 22 here and get some. We see true. But let's try doing something we know it's not. So 21, and we'll do get some. Now we see sum of 10 and 12 does not equal 21. So we can use this to create a custom error messages and um, give the end user sort of idea of what's going on with his code base, with the code base. So to make this better, we can add spaces here and here and here as well. So save this, redeploy. And we can say 12. Let's expand this a bit. So we say 12, we see this error message, which means you, you input the wrong address, the wrong um, sum. So if we say, okay, then it should be 21, 22 rather. And we get the sum and we see we got it and it's true. So this is how you create a custom error messages and concatenate strings in Solidity. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so as to see more videos on this channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.